Should have thought of that before you slept with Lindsay. Yeah! I've got some work to do, and I'm going to go out and run some errands. And when I get back, this better be cleaned up. Oh, oh, don't worry. I'm on it. Oh, oh, but just in case. Yeah! Oh, God. Is there any look you can't pull off? Yeah! I'm going to kill you. cheating ho- Lindsay. <laughs> Want to grab a drink? Okay, you go play the sympathetic friend, calm him down. I'll figure something out. Sounds good. Uh, uh, no problem, bro. Uh, <laughs> cocktail glass emoji. Stall him as long as you can. Right. I'm sorry I kicked you in the balls. Is there anything I can do? You could kiss it and make it better. <laughs> Goodbye, Alan. Oh, c- come on! It's not like I could do it myself. <laughs> knows I've tried. Get in the car. Rose, what are you doing? Somebody's following you. Yeah, you. There's no time for this. You're in danger. Yeah, from you. Just get in. Why would I get in your car? I mean, the last time I tried to trust you. What, what are you? You've got a little spot on your shirt. Well. more about this guy. His name is Walden Schmidt. More like Lion Sacker Schmidt. <laughs> All right? Turns out he's some kind of stupid internet billionaire. <sighs> don't you hate when guys don't work for a living like you and me? <laughs> Amen, Jeff Strongman. Hey, come on. You know, this isn't the worst thing in the world. You're going to bounce back. I guess. I should have seen it coming. I mean, she cheated on her last boyfriend with me. <laughs> her, her last boyfriend? Yeah, I guess the guy was a real loser. A pathetic freeloader. <laughs> just conjecture. I mean, you know, maybe he's a, a really great guy and she's just a crazy lion bitch. I'm not going to take it lying down like the pansy she was dating before me. Is pansy your word or hers? Hers. I'm going to the head. Get the check and we'll pay this bastard a visit. Take your time. No rush. Oh, come on, Lindsay. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Oh, of course. Voicemail. Lindsay, things have gone from bad to worse. Larry is going to confront Walden, and I don't know what to do. Call me back. Oh, and P.S., you and I have a little issue to discuss ourselves. Oh, and P.P.S., the P stands for pansy. Looks like we lost him. What the hell is going on? Well, I'm pretty sure Larry hired a hitman. How do you know about Larry? Because he's stalking you. How do you know that? Because I'm stalking you. Okay, okay, you know, this is ridiculous. I'm calling the police. And tell them what? We have no proof of anything. And besides, how help I? Uh oh. He's back. I don't know how he keeps finding us. I'll tell you how. The GPS on my cell phone. Give me that. (laughs) I was gonna turn it off, but okay. Hang on. But why? Okay, you know what? This is nonsense. I mean, take me home. Okay, homeward bound and gagged and tortured for days. Okay, no, fine. Then take me to a hotel. Beverly Hills Hotel, okay? It's perfect. And bang, you're dead. You need to get off the grid. Some place they don't expect you. A place they can't track your credit cards. Nobody is tracking my credit cards. That wasn't you last night getting a coffee colonic? I will not apologize for a healthy colon. (laughs) Okay, here we go. This place looks perfect. This place is a dump. Exactly, and it's the last place anyone would look for you. Yeah, but it's the first place that hepatitis would look for me. (laughs) This is only temporary. 
You lay low and I will straighten this out. Why in God's name would I trust you? Look, Walden, I know that I've caused you some tiny problems in the past. Tiny? You pretended to be pregnant to scare my girlfriend away. You sicked rabid ferrets on me. You tied me to my bed and tried to violate me with a leaf blower. It's so sweet you remember everything. But I can make up for all of that now. Look, when your sink is clogged, you call a plumber. When your car breaks down, you call a mechanic. When you have a dangerous psychopath after you, you call me. Fine. I'm gonna kill Alan. Oh, if you survive tonight, you should hire Larry's guy. He's good. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> this is uh, it's the best room you got. It's the presidential suite. <laughs> President of what? Krapel Slovakia. <laughs> Could offer you the honeymoon suite, you know, if you don't mind the smell of love. <laughs> no, no, yeah, this is uh, this is fine. Uh, do you uh, do you have room service? I might have something you might want to eat. I don't think you do. Listen, uh, if, if anyone comes here asking about me, I'm not here. Don't worry. No one will ever find you. If you get lonely later on, I'm in the apartment behind the building. Yeah, okay. It's nothing fancy, but I've got some good weed and a... Spa tub. Uh, keep that in mind. There's a live feed on channel 14 if you want to check it out. Great. Now I gotta hide from him, too. This Walden guy's gonna regret the day he stole my girlfriend. It's not stealing. It's more like borrowing, like, like renting a car. Yeah, but when you're in a car, you know there's been other guys inside it. Turning the knobs, playing with the seat, shoving stuff in the trunk. Okay, okay. Maybe that's a bad analogy, but that doesn't change the fact that going over there to confront him is not going to help anything. You get a better idea? Uh, I, I, how about you forget about Lindsay and we go out to a bar and pick up some women? You know, Larry and Jeff out on the prowl. Wow. Jeff, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but I'm afraid if I don't do this, I won't be able to live with myself. And I'm afraid if you do this, I'll have to live by myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, channel 14. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Who is it? It's Larry. I'm here to kill you, Walden. <laughs> Mr. Walden, he died. I clean room. <laughs> I'll have to go in there. And I'm not going in there. So, did you find anything out? Still no sign of Larry. He could be anywhere. God, Alan was supposed to take care of this. Oh, yeah, he also told you he was only going to live at your house for a few days. And here we are at day 843. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. I got us some candy bars. Mounds for you, because it's your favorite. Aww. Uh, joy for me, because, you know, nuts. <laughs> Why are you being so nice to me? You know, I'll admit that you hurt me and I did some things that I'm not proud of. But just because you took a restraining order out against me doesn't mean that I can restrain my feelings for you. That is the sweetest, most terrifying thing I've ever heard. Are you really scared of me? You're not even the scariest person I've met in this room. I chose another girl over you, and who's here with me now? I never really left you. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> File this under things I'm gonna regret. Damn it. Should have brought my leaf blower. <laughs> Oh, uh, the doorbell doesn't work. What? I, I mean, uh, that that does 
not work if you want to send a message that there's a man here. <laughs> Ding dong, I'm going to kick your tushy. Now, now, this could get crazy. I mean, there's going to be a lot of name calling, a uh, 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 jerk, a uh, idiot, a uh, Alan. Uh... Larry. See? I know exactly what's going on between you and Walden Schmidt. Now, where is he? Wow, this house is amazing. <laughs> Larry, this isn't what you think. It's exactly what I think. I have pictures. We're standing in his house. Okay, it's time for me to tell you the truth. Don't believe her, she's a cheating drunk whore. <laughs> Larry, listen to me. I I'm not here to sleep with Walden Schmidt. I'm here to sleep with someone else. What? Remember you told me your fantasy was to see me with another woman? Yeah. <laughs> I've arranged for your dream to come true. You did? <laughs> yes, that's why I rented this beautiful beach house from Walden Schmidt as a birthday surprise. I also got us something else. So which one's watching us? <laughs> but Sam, I'm gonna have to charge extra. <laughs> Wait a minute, is this for real? Happy birthday, baby. Wow, wow, <laughs> a threesome. That is uh, quite a gift. <laughs> well, it was last minute and I had to think of something. <laughs> a nice cardigan wouldn't have done the trick? God, I feel so stupid. I even hired someone to follow you. <laughs> Why don't you call them off and we'll all go sit down and talk about the things you want to see. Bye, Jeff. Yeah, bye, Jeff. I'll send you a copy of the video. <laughs> wait, 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 this is really happening? I mean, you, 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 and, and, and her? And, and, and him? And, and, and here? <laughs> while, while I... Son of a bitch! <laughs> this is crazy. You know, I bet if Lindsay had been sleeping with somebody else... He'd be really, really mad. I know. Isn't this great, Jeff? She's not a cheating whore. She's just a whore. Hi, it's Larry Martin. Oh, hey. Listen, I'm not going to be needing your services anymore, but I appreciate all your help. No problem, Alan. What'd he say? Well, he uh, thanked me for protecting you, but there's still no sign of Larry. And as long as he's out there, you're not safe. I'm going to go get us some supplies. No, don't go. We're having a good time. You're just a sticky little honey bun, aren't you? Now don't try to get in touch with anyone, or Larry will kill you. Kisses. I'm going to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Screw it. I'll just pee the bed. Thank you. 